What is going on, Puck Nation, and welcome back to another snow plowing video. It's been a while, but let's get back into it. So today we have the special 2020 F350. Basically all the, you know, I think it was the F250 also, I think he said in the post. We have the detachable boss uh, salt spreader from Thin Line Modding. Um, the snow plow is from HD Modding. You can find the truck on various websites. Did a mod spotlight on it. Let's get that garage door open. Today we're just going to go right into our town. Here we're just going to do a couple driveways. Pull this beast out of the garage. Find the trigger. Sometimes these door triggers. There we go. Doesn't like a vehicle near it. So, thank you guys for the awesome support on the new series that we have going, which is the 5M. Hope you guys do enjoy it. We're gonna be trying all those jobs out. Have some more videos coming out of it. So hope you guys do stick around for those videos. Let's see what driveways we can do today. If you guys missed out on some of these videos we've done, a bunch of snow plowing. Um, so go check them out. Let's see, there's a driveway down here. You guys paid attention that road up against the highway is closed because there's too much snow that comes off the highway. Let's see here, we need to angle not angle that snow. Driveway's gonna be a little tricky, but there's a little bit of snow up there. Get to plowing. So after last day or last Monday's video, I technically lost my voice, but thank God I had the five M already uh, recorded so I kind of took a break that was the reason why there was no Saturday video so it's just these cold weather snaps that we've been going into it's crazy that we've already had snow what was it on Halloween and then Monday we we're already down in the teens so that's like a shock to everybody's body plus I work at UPS and that building isn't heated much Anything past 20 degrees and you're not going to feel much from those heaters. So, getting down in the teens at night kind of sucks. But after being there for four years, I'm pretty much used to it. So, it's not too bad. This 2020 is very sharp. Uh, I think the only updates from let's see they came out with this body style in 17 I believe but the only thing I see is some differences on the grill there so that's all I see for the 2020 I don't know they've probably done inside features too way too down. Too much pressure. I think next spring I need to put some driveways in. Didn't really have time this year. 
They'll definitely put some real driveways in. Maybe a little bit of construction come spring. It would be awesome if someone can make the plows able to back drag, especially in these areas. Would be amazing. We'll do a couple more driveways. I'm not going to make this video super long, but all the links will be down in the description as always. Got a county plow sitting over there. Uh -huh. Let's do this driveway since we're on the right side. Looking pretty good. It is a lot of snow. Especially if you go into town, there's probably seven foot piles, especially around our plowing shop. Which I think, since we got our home, we might actually be moving out of that shop. Thinking about it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a video of me moving the entire shop, basically. We'll leave that shop there, but I think we might build a bigger one at our house. Piles back a little bit more so they can fit two cars in here. Perfect. And let's get to the edge of the driveway. Since we are getting close to Thanksgiving week, uh, put your, um, put your uh, weekend or your week plans down in there. Thanksgiving plans. Like normal for me, taking off the car out as normal. I'm thinking about switching it up next year. I don't know. Colorado is cool and all. But I think Florida is something. Because I did Florida in March. So I may do that again next year. I don't know where we're actually going, I just kind of guard it out. But yeah, look, so we'll take a little tour of the map. This is all the snow from the roads. We got some decent sized piles. But with that, uh, leave your Thanksgiving plans down in the comments below. Um, everybody should know my plans. I've been doing it for three or four, let's see, three years now. I remember it's one year less than I actually been there. We didn't do it the first year I was there at UPS because I didn't have a vacation. Let's see, is this road open? Yep. But yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try to get some more videos recorded before I leave. Hopefully we'll have six videos which will cover... Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Saturday. I would say I won't have to do the Saturday that I come back, but I don't get back until 9 or 10 o'clock, so it's pretty much an all-day thing. 
a long trip, plus we make it a lot longer because we'll stop in the middle of Iowa, which is Des Moines, Iowa, and spend some time in there for a little while, and then we head back home. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe these next two weeks. Be safe during uh, Thanksgiving week. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, we have plenty of videos coming out. I'll have another farming update for you guys here in the next week or two. We'll do the next route for 5M on the UPS. Uh, we got some really cool videos for the warehouse. Maybe we'll be uh, using the Pepsi factory also. And there is going to be an important update that everybody needs to do, so definitely watch that video. If you don't watch that video, it could cost you $46,000 from the government if you don't watch this that important video I'm going to have coming out. So all aside with this video, it doesn't matter if you hate me or not, you should definitely watch that video. It's going to be titled very important because if you don't do that, you haven't answered the one question, you could be owing the government a lot of money for not having kid-friendly stuff on your channel, which I highly recommend not saying yes to, because you're basically going to have to, wouldn't say copy Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, but you're going to go along the same guidelines as those two channels, so yeah, I wouldn't select yes, but I'll come out with that video as soon as possible, and the deadline is January 1st of 2020, so... I've already selected, no, I'm not dealing with that bullshit. I don't agree with what YouTube is doing, plus what the government is doing also, because YouTube did have a say in this before it all started, so. And thanks to Pie for starting all this shit, too. We'll see you guys later.